start whenever you're ready. I think we're ready. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we're ready. Walking up the stone path next to the Comstock Arts Facility, chemistry professor Tara Kahan feels the growing excitement from the 10 young girls gathered around her. They're actually going to see lava being poured, so real lava not made from a volcano, but to mimic volcanoes, we'll actually get to see that pouring out of a, a big vat into the ground to see how the lava flows. I've never seen this, so I'm probably more excited than they are about this right now because they don't know what's coming. The kids, all from the Syracuse City School District, are part of a week-long Young Woman Science Camp sponsored by the Syracuse Museum of Science and Technology. Faculty from the College of Engineering and Computer Science and the College of Arts and Sciences have recently paired up to provide the campers with a fun educational experience. Through the partnership, the girls spend an entire day on campus engaged in interactive workshops and demonstrations, all designed to fuel their natural scientific curiosity. Middle school is the age when children have been shown to start losing interest in science. Before that, they're very excited about learning anything, right? How does the world work? But at that age, uh, studies have shown that they tend to lose interest. So this is a really important age to target kids to keep them interested, right? It's just showing that science is still neat. It's exciting. It's really cool how they, it was made. And I like how it was. How like you can. It could become rock and then you could turn it back into a liquid and then rock and then liquid. It kind of made like really big bubbles. You know, the sooner or later they didn't even pop and then it turned really black. During a time when women remain a considerable minority in the STEM fields, the camp gives local girls real world science experiences with enrichment opportunities that can sometimes be just out of reach. So the head of the whale is there and then they just wait for the back of the whale to come up out of the water. It's a little bouncy when they're out of the boat too and so there, he just stuck the tag on the whale and then the whale goes down and the tag goes During the summer is a really important part uh, time to target this because that's when um, children who are economically disadvantaged tend to fall behind their peers. It's not during the school year, it's during the summer when uh, students from more affluent families can keep up with their education, not necessarily in a formal setting, but just by experiencing things, going to museums and that sort of thing. So there's a really big gap that's seen at the beginning of the school year. Um, this microphone converts my sound or any sound into electricity and so then we can use um, a device like this. Kahan so says it's inspiring to see the young scientists become more engaged and empowered over the course of the day. I just, I'm really excited to see the expressions on the girls' faces and see how they react to real science. At the beginning of the day, the girls were all pretty quiet and just sort of looked to see what was happening, but by the end, they were competing to see who could ask the most questions because they were just so excited about everything and they realized it wasn't bad to ask questions, that learning was fun. So they were just falling over themselves trying to ask about everything they saw.